Welcome to binaryicos.com. In this video, I am going to discuss about the packet detail pane in Wireshark. Let's open the previous capture file in Wireshark and select any HTTP packet from the packet list pane. In the packet detail pane, you can see that the HTTP transfer protocol right here is the last. And this protocol is enca encapsulated in TCP protocol. The TCP contain the source port and destination port and the sequence number. TCP is layer 4 protocol is encapsulated in the internet protocol IP version 4. So it's a layer 3 protocol network layer contain the source and the destination IP addresses. It's also encapsulated in the layer 2 protocol called the data link layer or the ethernet 2. It contain the source and destination MAC address. You can see right here the destination and source MAC address is displayed. So the TCP is called the segment IP version 4 called the packet and the Ethernet 2 or the data link layer called the frame. The Wireshark additionally add the frame type right here but this frame is not related with your ethernet 2 protocol this frame is the overview of all the packets it also gives the information about what contain in your protocol like protocol in frame in eth ip tcp and http so tcp is version 4 ip is version 3 layer 3 protocol ethernet is layer 2 protocol and this is http so this information also give the overview of your particular packet the another thing in wireshark if you want to open a pop up window of the packet detail frame just double click on the particular packet so it will open another pop up window that contain a packet detail frame so it's really handy Another thing I am going to show in this video is if you want to collapse or expand this packet just click on the positive to expand negative symbol to collapse that packet. If this packet contain two plus button right here so if you want just right click and click on expand subtree. So it will expand that subtree directly. Just right click and call collapse all. So it will collapse all that packet. Now suppose if you want to add a new column right here in packet list pane. Suppose I want this IP version 4 packet to make a column right here. Just right click on the tab and click on apply as column and you can see that it create another column of IP version 4 protocol so the another thing is if you want only source IP address in your column just right click and choose apply as column so it will create only a source IP address protocol right here if you want to remove this column just right click on that particular column and click on remove column so it will remove that column from your packet list pane so this is all for this video thanks for watching and for more videos visit our website binaryhackers.com